Double pair at the front. They're leading the way, followed by the BMW 320. Then we've got Moonen and the MR2 and the Corsa and Melinda at the back. So, can they get near Stephen Stesson this time? The Peugeot 206 is drifting it through the elbow. That is not the quickest line. That is the most spectacular line to slide it round, but you lose all your power as you come up the hill. You can see the rival Peugeot 206 gets even closer. They go round the hair, be very close to the BMW. 320 of Gareth Winston there in third. Followed by Moonen. By number 13, that's Van moving the MR2. So out front, leading is number 5, Andes Gieben. Followed by number 81, Kev Van Nistel. The other Peugeot 206 as Gieben goes for his joker lap. This is going to be a change for the lead. The MR2 is definitely in the best position now because he is capitalises Belinda's at the moment back there. Belinda Hyman's in the Honda Civic. She's jumped over the grass and going down out of paddock. It looks like we've got a change for the lead. Definitely 81 now in the lead from number Quinty in the BMW. The slidey BMW is surely going to drift it around the hairpin. That's drowning it. Yeah, I don't know if it's the Peugeot 206. So it's a leading trio. The trio to Remar 2 is in certainly in the best position. He hasn't yet taken his juncture. He's certainly going to be taking his juncture. He's going to come through to be in the best position when it comes through. But here goes 81. Chris Bamman leading the way. Closely followed by Quentin, Van Hove, Gieben, Moon and Gorich. Yeah, there's a lot of so change for the lead as 81 takes his joker. Now we've got Heemans out in the lead in the BMW. I'm sure that MR2 and Van Hove is certainly in the best position to capitalise, but the little 302 MR2 seen a few in the British series over the years. We've got Malcolm Boyd in the Super National Brass more modern for MR2. This is an older one, but still show the Belgians just like to race a wide, wide variety of cars. You see all sorts in the Belgian Championship. Can you get near the BM? It's really too hard as he takes his joker and the BM happens. They enter their last lap. The BMW goes on to his joker lap, closely followed by the MR2. Where is the BM going to come out? The Johan Quinton in the 320 comes out behind number 81 of Chris Bauman. And so now we've got a 1, 2, 3. We've got the MR2 lead of the Peugeot 206 and then the BM behind. Quite a settled race now. Check the flag already being ready. And it looks like it's going to be a, a win, a very convincing win for Van Hove. It was very well to start, but his tactics collapsed straight away. He turns in through Paddock, runs very near the tile wall, comes through and takes the flag. Great win. Does that hope? And it was such a good win. It puts him top of the times for Belgian Supernationals. Martin Van